welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll explain you prediction of nature of fourier coefficient so we have already seen fourier coefficient now see how to predict nature of fourier coefficient so that we can solve some examples in very easy way so sometimes you will be given with fourier coefficient and based on nature what will be our fourier coefficient that we need to calculate so how to calculate that so that we can predict based on its characteristic so before i explain what will be nature of fourier coefficient one thing that we need to understand that is if you have signal and if that signal is even signal then fourier coefficient will be even only if you have odd signal then fourier coefficient will be odd so here if i say this is signal and this is fourier then you will be having signal if it is even then it translates into fourier coefficient which is even and if you have odd signal then it translates fourier coefficient into odd only now another thing how it change nature so nature could be real or imaginary if you have if you have even signal then nature will not change means real to real will real to real translation will happen from signal to fourier coefficient if nature is odd then if signal is odd then nature will change then nature will change so how that will happen let us try to understand this see if you have signal which is even signal then your fourier coefficient that will be even only and nature will not change means if it is real then fourier coefficient will be real and even so here one can say fourier coefficient that will be even real and even as even coefficient is there and signal is real so nature real and signal uh, signal is even so fourier coefficient will be even even so over here even you can see signal is imaginary and nature is even so nature will not change so it will remain imaginary and even but when you have odd signal signal will be uh, odd in that case fourier series coefficient will be even odd but nature will change so here nature is real so it will changes to imaginary and signal will be odd only and here as signal is imaginary and it is having odd symmetry so fourier coefficient will be odd only but nature will change from imaginary to real so this is what we need to keep in our mind when you have signal nature then you can have fourier coefficient nature even so even to even and odd to odd will happen even will not change nature odd will change its nature in fourier series coefficient so this is what we need to keep in our mind to predict nature of fourier coefficient i hope that you have understood this and to explain it better now i'll consider one example so it will be more clear now you see we have x of n signal and that signal is real and even so we have signal x of n that is real and even so signal then fourier series coefficient will be so fourier series coefficient for even it will be even only so here two cases are there and even signal will not change nature so real will remain real so real will remain real and this will be false case so we can say for fourier series coefficient over here that has to be real and even i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video you can find this material which i am teaching here from my application engineering funda and you can learn it from here from my channel but for quick review of that you can see it on my application you can download it even from there thank you so much for watching this video